Jones, boy with magic powers. Fun things happen when he eats his carrots. Won't you join us in Henry's world? Travel around the planet, journey into space. Fun adventures to back your case. Come and join us in Henry's world. One bite of a carrot, his wish will come true. With Margaret and Brady, you can come too. Living in Henry's world, he can wish for anything in the world. He can go to anywhere in the world. Henry's world. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> can I play? Uh, sure. find the park warden and ask him to bring his ladder. has even said, Happy Birthday, Henry. Do you think they've all forgotten? Woo! Yeah, me too. I have a feeling there's something we haven't packed. I think we've got it all. Let's go. We've baked you two cupcakes with your name on each. And we bought you a present. But it's not even my birthday. We couldn't resist. I wish I was an only child. Henry, who are you? Wanda Wistful from the Amazing Stork Company. So you want to be an only child, huh? I must say, at the Amazing Stork Company, we pride ourselves in matching children with families. I personally delivered you and thought it was a great fit. It wasn't. My family doesn't care about me. Now why would you say that? It's my birthday and not one person has even wished me happy birthday. This is the first year there's not going to be a party. Well, we can relocate you to a family where you'll be the only child. Great! But it might not be in Chestervale. I should also let you know, as a matter of company policy, I must take you on a tour to see how different things would be if you'd never been part of Chestervale. I'm sure no one will even miss me. Hi! They can't see or hear us. Remember, we're seeing how life would be if you were never part of Chestervale. Come on, let's go find out how your brother's lives are different without you in the picture. Wow, they're good. Don't practice too much, boys. Remember, you've got the big game tomorrow. It'll be televised around the world. Televised around the world? What's Mom talking about? Ernest and Earl are international soccer stars. They are? But what's that have to do with me? Nothing. Well, not really. Okay, maybe you had a little bit to do with it, but really, if you want to blame anyone, blame Doris. Doris wrecking their ball was the reason they stopped playing soccer? Oh, uh, well, yes. But how could you have known that Doris would have burned the soccer ball instead of heading it? But I'm sure the life of international soccer stardom is not all it's cracked up to be. Okay, I'm ready. Can I be switched into an only child family now, please? There's plenty more to see. The tour has only just begun. Mm. 
why isn't Officer Tony a policeman anymore? Well, you see... What's this got to do with me? Um, when you weren't around to beat him in the Chestervale Talent Contest, he won and became a huge star. You mean the year I juggled 20 balls at once? Yes, a new world record. After that, Officer Tony decided to give up playing music altogether. That's terrible. All because of me? So is he famous now? Sort of. <laughs> Not again. Listen, girls, I'm just a regular guy. Well, we should continue the tour. I've seen enough. It's pretty obvious that Chestervale is a better place now that I'm not part of it. I'm not so sure. Come on. Huh? Miss Pierre's a crossing guard? What's wrong with her? She seems so... different. Miss Pierre's lost hope, can't you tell? She doesn't care anymore, not since she got fired from teaching. Fired? Don't tell me if I had been around, she would still have a job. Do you remember the field trip when the class went to the Chestervale Zoo? Yeah. What happened? Zane got lost. And? Well, I found him. Without you there, Zane wandered over to the lion's den. Oh, no! Oh, yes. Your little friend was discovered by the zookeeper throwing his peanut butter sandwich to the lions. The zookeeper phoned the principal and Ms. Pierre was fired before you could say, do not feed the animals. Just by finding Zane, I saved Miss Pierre's job? You certainly did. But look at her. Without her students, Ms. Pierre has lost all hope. Though I'm sure you'll be happier with your new family. Oh, there's your dad. What happened to his ice cream truck? He went out of business. Now he sells broccoli. Broccoli? Dad hates broccoli. What does this have to do with me? You were the one who got him to start selling all of the exotic ice cream flavors like bubblegum mush and his famous banana hey hey. I was? Don't you remember? Does Freddy's birthday party ring a bell? Sure, we ate all that great ice cream her mom bought. And? And when I got home, I told Dad that if he started making wacky flavors, that business would boom. And that's exactly what happened. Without you, your father just kept selling chocolate and vanilla until he went out of business. Wow! Wow is right. Come on, let's go. Well, it seems like no one at school misses me. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What can I do for you, Great Darwin? I overheard a couple of kids in the second grade making fun of me. Deal with it. Frady's part of Darwin's gang? Well, she never met you on her first day of school. She was a new kid. She was lonely, it's understandable. How was Frady to know Darwin was a bully? But by that time, everyone assumed she was part of his posse. Was it any surprise she'd become a bully herself? That's terrible. She seems so unhappy. Henry, there's one more person I think we should visit. I don't know anyone who works at a bank. I believe you do. Huh? Uncle Neptune works here? But he keeps his money hidden under his mattress. He still does. What exactly does he do? He puts pennies in little piles and then rolls them up, day after day after day. That sounds kind of boring. Oh, actually, it's very boring. But after he stopped inventing... He... Stopped inventing? Sad, really. He just didn't have the heart to rebuild his lab after the fire. What fire? The one you put out during his volcano experiment. You mean that little piece of lava that dripped onto the floor burned down the lab? Yep. By the time Uncle Neptune finished his phone call, it was too late. After the fire, his Eureka spirit just wasn't there anymore. I can't believe it. I affected all those people? Shall we make our next stop? Want to find out how your mom's doing? No, I've seen enough. 
All right, we'll go back to the Amazing Stork Company. I'll do the paperwork and you'll be relocated before dinner. Wanda, I'm sorry, but I've changed my mind. There's no way I can leave. There isn't? Of course not. People need me. Well, that's great news. To tell you the truth, relocations always make me so sad. I can see why. This is where I say goodbye, Henry. Thanks, Wanda. Henry? Yeah? Happy birthday. Hey, Margaret! You came back! Thanks. Oh, the picnic basket. Where did that come from? You left it behind at the park, and you also left behind something else. We did? What? Me! Oh, you want any dinner? No, I think I'll just go to bed. That's a shame. Why? Because... Surprise! Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> you remembered! I thought everyone had forgotten! Forget your birthday? Impossible. Did we fool you? More than you could ever imagine. Blow out the candles. And don't forget to make a wish. <laughs>